Uh, good evening to all the ladies and gentlemen, the prestigious personalities who were working in this uh, beautiful forum for a beautiful world. Uh, I was overwhelmed by the uh, thoughts and concern of each of you, which I have just overall uh, for the for the world around. And uh, uh, really, what is my proud privilege to be with you to share some thoughts with you. Uh, I don't know how far I will be able to deliver before this August uh, members of the society and especially I am much thankful to uh, Professor Dr. Hemlata Talsara, who is the uh, program uh, director and Dr. Martin and uh, the secretary and all the dignitaries of this uh, uh, joint venture of the communities which is working ceaselessly and striving for a better world. So uh, I've been assigned to talk on uh, something about social health and harmony for a better world. Uh, I just pray the divine to be with me so that I can uh, deliver what is supposed to be from my side let the God guide my footsteps. Okay, as we know, first is harmony. Because everything revolves around harmony. The world order and uh, the human order within and without. the All the triple levels of harmony. Everything depends on the, the actually the adjustment the mutual relationships between individual individual between individual and society and above all and which is more important it is the the harmony within the within the individual it starts from there harmony within means it's a as we know we are composed of so many beings and though we seem to be a single unity it is uh, our body, our mind, and our emotional being, and also theoretically, as we know, most of we are not perceived, uh, I think somebody have felt also, it is a uh, matter of feeling. There is a another larger dimension, which we call usually the soul or the psychic being, as during the refers to. So harmony comes first, and all the problems whatever we come across in the world around, we are here because if there is a problem, we come across so many problems in maladjustments and peace and world order, be it with uh, human relationships, be it with uh, so many factors which, which accounts to uh, world development per se, that uh, usually implicated what it implicates is harmony. That's why in the, the epic book, Life Divine, Sri Aurobindo categorically refers all problems of existence are problems of harmony. And uh, we know also, if there is disharmony, means there is the absence of the required adjustment and the balance so there is defective balance or what we call disharmony that may lead to disease and disaster and also death. And as we know, as social health is also refers to the same physical, mental and emotional well-being. As we can remember the WHO definition, the individual health, the physical health per se, is defined as is a complete state of physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being, and not merely any absence of disease or infirmity. American author and naturalist J. W. Crutch has told one of the most shocking features of our age is that man's inhumanity to man. Man is so much cruel, so much inhuman to 
his fellow men or fellow persons who is around him it is it is quite unimaginable and uh, men can worship god men can love god but men cannot love another person men cannot worship another person and over and above one psychologist who most of us know bernard notcut also was telling that the extreme condition where the the persons who are they are not organized within they are not harmonized within they lead to the constantly they constantly striving and unsuccessfully of course is referring categorically is constriving striving constantly but unsuccessfully towards aggression and yielding excessive demands on others and fear of never getting anything fantasies of boundless power and feelings of utter helplessness this is the scenario in where in the planet in which we live in now so we must consider harmony first and there is a triple level of harmony first the harmony should be established first it should be perceived whether it is necessary or not by so many experiences in the life so first is harmony within all the faculties of the beings within should be organized there should be mutual interrelationships adjustment within so that we can behave we can work as a single being so it's a organized being individuality will be formed then individual to individual whatever i have perceived within i must try to explore the same thing in the same persons whom i come across and in the, then the harmony between individual and society individual and nature individual and the world around the environment as we tell it so harmony is a primary the fulcrum around which everything revolves starting from health to the development of the world as such and uh, as you know it is usually harmony means we usually what we common people the layman understands it is the relationships it is the mutual relationships because here the life of human beings that matters much it is the life of human beings it is the quality of life i can tell it is the quality of physical quality of life how a person lives in society is he living at peace living with love and affection sympathy compassion forgiveness and all the divine qualities without fear with and with much freedom to to deliver to to do whatever he thinks to do it for the society so if it is prevailing then we can tell that we are heading towards in a right direction so relationships is primary so because it is a vast subject i can just uh, briefly discuss about this on the basis of relationships and social harmony which will go a long way in establishing health per se because social health as such also has a physical health because it is aggregation of individuals so individual health should be better should be perfect so that the social health will also be perfect and there will be mental health of the persons also depend so it is a mutual interrelationship and so many variables like economics the economic status the cultural status the religion the status of the women and the status of the children because children and uh, below one year children we call infants there is a infant the status of the infants the care of the infants that signifies this is the most sensitive index of the persons living in a society so so my contention is that we must focus on the children around us the 
of course the adolescents and all others is good mainly but now it is seen that in the elderly population also they seem to be marginalized that is also much a goni to them and nobody is there to help around so we must focus on this relationships in which how we usually having and we sh- and also what we should have the relationship how it should be the ideal relationships which will develop out of good social harmony and which will can lead us towards social health and towards a better world so let us quickly go to the ppt now the first uh, next slide and uh, it is the light towards which we all move plants also move towards light this is phototropism as we all know so also from the infinity a soul came took the shape of a embryo only one cellular single cellular zygote then it divides and redivides in the darkness and also strives in the darkness throughout for 37 38 weeks to 40 weeks to see the light of the world the light of a day and which you are striving so it is the beginning but before that also the process has started in the mother's womb so it is the consciousness of the parents before con- it is the consciousness of the parents before conception that matters a child must be prayed for we are forgetting the things which is most ancient hindus the practicing it is the most vedic area vedic era also and swami vivekananda also told about this any child born not born out of prayer may be absurd so child must be prayed for must be a environment we should be calm and composed with artistic touch in everywhere with the consciousness of the mother especially should be so that she can bring a developed soul to this world so that he can he or she can be act as a light for the others that mind that means it is the most primordial prevention of the darkness which is prevailing now in this world so prenatal education that also but now the all the governments are so also in our indian government everywhere there is a word called respectful maternity so maternal care of course maternal care only after the woman is conscious of that she is conceived the pregnancy starts the maternity starts but i am telling much before just after marriage much before should be planned any birth should be planned and should be prepared for and to be prayed for so the light for which the baby was waiting for now ultimately came one day in fine morning or in the day he sees the light of the world and and after the advent of the baby after the first cry the hopes is usually increases many folds of the parents about the other relatives and the whole society they rejoice on the advent of a new birth next is and if you see discuss the state of affairs of our children who were we we as parents or maybe family relatives the community around maybe teachers those who love children that is more important and society and also state and nation as a whole and who are our children we tell them the future of mankind the children with families children in school or on the street or deserted orphanages or trafficked 
because of the poverty and whatever is rampantly going in in the developing countries here in our also in our state also and they are mostly abused and and the most irony part the babies or the children were not allowed to be born and the children cannot speak out they are the unspoken victims the silent victims and which wither away on timely this is the most sorry sad part of which is going on still next please some basic issues of children if we know we know everything just i will just touch upon very important factors there is a high parental expectation pressure to achieve there usually the children are undergoing much pressure nowadays of course nature is putting pressure on them because they have to be faster in acquiring knowledge because they have to be the mind is refining and refined refine and refine and also going in a ascension mode so they have to learn much more and what what we come across in our life also what we taught in uh, in our time at class 12 now the children are asked to learn from class 5 6 so the amount of takes the amount of burden that is there over and above parental expectation the coercion and the others the uh, the pressure upon the peer pressure or whatever this is much on the children so so much so that children the very miserably present to our outdoors and even uh, words also with so many peculiar and uh, which can be uh, very that we call usually the psychosomatic illnesses uh, I, i can remember one girl uh, around 8 years she came uh, with peculiar with a very bizarre type of movements which didn't fit to any conventional uh, feats or seizures we call it convulsions like feats involuntary movements of uh, hands and legs and she was closing her eyes and she was every time she was uh, being brought by the relatives Uh, so we used to ask oh, what happened oh, she just fell down and uh, fell down unconscious um, fell down unconscious so we uh, brought her back to hospital so uh, fortunately when uh, the child came uh, on a very fine morning on a particular day i was there so i just saw and uh, i could um, i examined and uh, came to a conclusion that this is a typical case of psychosomatic reaction or it is a conversion reaction where there is no physical illness at all so i uh, in the taking the confidence of the child by whispering in her ear i just gained her confidence and told that nothing will happen you just tell me you just open your eyes and i am there to help you out otherwise you may be prepared uh, so many injections i don't know i i don't want that such a beautiful girl should be given pain full injection so i don't want it i know you are a very good girl so speak out what has happened around what do you feel are you afraid of something then she gradually uh, open her eyes and uh, i just asked what's your name she told her name very in a whisper voice then i told why i asked her what has happened actually who do you fear she told that it is uh, because i am very poor in mathematics so and my uh, parents they usually beat me whenever i um, do miserably bad in mathematics usually so i so uh, his, she was also being um, sent to a private tutor also who used to beat her also most of the time and the day she was brought the next day was the examination due and that was mathematics so it was the most climax situation when she found no rescue but to act like in that way so i am not telling it is a 8 to 10 years girl now it is coming down to even 5 6 years children because of the atten- inattention because of the lack of care because of there is no quality time for the parents 
to spend with the children. So these are all mounting pressure on the children to behave like this and uh, the tremendous pressure both physically and mentally they are undergoing. And peer groups, positive and negative aspects, I know we with the very good friends, then that is a plus point for the children and the negative means who are addicted, the children are getting addicted in the schools and especially the adolescents, they usually they experiment and by experimenting and uh, by their uh, interest to know the things around and uh, they, to enjoy the freedom, they usually victimized by the peer groups who are also addicted. And information overload is another pressure which they, and internet addictions the screen time is much more for the adolescent and also lower group children also. And there is generation gap. There is nobody to understand him, understand the children. And children, they think that the adults, they don't understand us. And adults tell the children are not obedient and they are not abiding by on what we used to, you know, when we were children, we were obeying our parents' advice. These children are something else. They are, they are spoiled and whenever the child goes does perform performs very well the father boasts it is a father's pride who is the father the father is to thrill and when the child does very badly the father comes forward another step to tell the mother is spoiled her so this is the scenario in where we stand next please So we can see the children who are accessing the electronic gadgets and their computer, their learning and the side by another child is just collecting garbage. And, the, and there is gender discrimination is very much there also. Now, of course, it is decreasing by the education of the uh, girls, especially and the primary education has become free. That's why the girls are coming more in more numbers than what it was there in 10 years back. And adolescents, they are getting addicted with substance abuse and so many things. So they are in distress, actually. Next, please. So child is often said, usually they are told, thinking something, don't take tension. Who usually as a elders or the caregivers who usually tell, don't, don't take tension. Stop it and relax. It will be all right. The child thinks, I am not doing it, not taking any tension. It happens to me. How I can just stop it? But friends and relatives say, nothing wrong with you, unnecessarily worrying. The child further feels, I am not well. They tell, I am okay. No one understands me. I am helpless. So this is the vicious cycle which goes on. No hair from the child gets the solace the guidance, the direction. So it is our prime role to reach out and help even if they don't seek by who the, whoever the children are loved like most by most of us. So if we really take little observation on them by coming closer to the children, we can know by bringing face to face, by looking their eyes, we can jolly well know because they are the reflections of the true, the purity within, they usually sustain unless otherwise it is perturbed by the, the things around or the circumstances. Usually the child attains, retains its purity, both physical and mental, whatever. So usually they, they tell the honestly. So by looking at eyes, by looking at the face, we can well imagine what will the condition is he or she is passing through. So we must address without any delay. And the export help should be sought for, even if it may be uh, physical health or maybe mental health. Next, please. So Khalil Gibran, the Polish poet, so beautifully describes, your children are not your children. They come through you, but not from you. You may house their bodies, but not their souls. Their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit even in your dreams. So life goes not backward. This. Next, please. Ch 
children as you know they are god's gift and the buddhist from spirituality they incline to from 5 to 8 years they, the child monks they are there they are recognized and also mother tales i am i saw a child wallowing in the dirt and the very child each time is clean by the mother to rest to be resplendent but i get trembled each time i saw that means that purity that i was just referring to the children they, they keep their purity within and as they grow up they imbibe the things of impurities the thoughts the aber the aberrations in thoughts the the behavior which we we as parents or caregivers usually unknowingly or knowingly we behave with them they imbibe those thoughts and they think that that is the because so it is our prime role to be uh, act as a role model because children see everything they feel everything they can understand everything and they imbibe it very very nicely whatever we usually uh, teach them through our activities through our behavior so let us become the role models for the children next about 26 261 million in india it is 10 to 18 years so it is a young country that's why we are taking pride about 22% 25% of children and adolescents it's a is of opportunity but the problems with that is it is malnutrition is rampant still child labor school dropout female feticide substance abuse abuse is goes on next please and more and more there is family tension family is a is the is the most recognized and the it is the small unit of a society families whatever society is a miniature society you can tell it's everything starts from the family but the major issues are unrealistic expectations if there will be unrealistic expectation my son is not at good at mathematics but he should be engineer he must be engineer like that this unrealistic expectation of the family and there is always tussle around between mother in law and other in law and in laws of course now the nuclear ration is much more nuclear family is are, are increasing in india and in world over so it is assumed a sense of proprietorship also that causes family tension who is the guardian and this is who also who is much pressure towards the family quarrel and uh, discordance so no time no time for the children no quality time and social change for any catastrophe any disaster that we as we come across as the the pandemic which is still in incipient phase in now in some of the countries that is in our uh, very much vivid in our mind and also that's the changes which come across that also causes the family pressure and the tension goes and divorce and care of children extramarital relationship and that, that is dil mil conflict that is daughter in law and mother in law which is a is old conflict which goes on and on still next please so whatever the daughter in law mother in law problem that is uh, of course now because of the uh, nuclearization or nuclear family concepts are preferring preferable or most of the uh, family they prefer so but uh, still it is continue continuing most of time and uh, it is symbolic of problems with in laws the focus of conflict is parents in law attempt to appease both leading to stress of being sandwiched in between their sandwiched parents and emotional distancing leading to loss loss situation no gain at all it is always a loss next this is the words of the mother to unite your physical li lives whenever uh, it, person gets married they, we usually seek for blessings from ashram and usually this ashram card usually marriage card is special and uh, we receive in this way and where it is written clearly to unite your minds to harmonize your thoughts 
it is also not enough it is necessary but it is not enough beyond all in the depths of the center at the summit of the big there is a supreme truth of big to be one in aspiration and ascension so you must be involved the ultimate aim is to go inward and grow within so that our true identity can emerge out of this darkness so that we can leave a spiritual path and spiritual society will be formed can be formed for the real solution of all the worldly problems next please she have the tells my love is not a hunger of heart my love is not is the craving for the flesh it come to me from god to god returns so the so love is a yearning of the one and for the one it is only for the god and for the god may god within everybody so that is the spiritual concept whatever the i am perceiving or feeling once i felt but it is difficult again i am what i am i am identified by my name only what is my name i can tell yes dr prashant patra that's all but it is my name only who am i so if uh, i did been the name same name of the person all, all same then what a uh, situation will happen in this world so name is given to identify from person to person from character to character but we are identified by our name identified by our body only and we are confined to that and and lead the path and walk the life's path in that way and the life comes to an end with that but the ultimate aim should be whenever we start walking it is to be identified with within who am i my name is such and such but who am i actually so if i repeatedly ask this question then something will be there in me something vibration will occur in my heart within so that i can try i can strive to know by whatever means i must perceive i must feel actually my true identity in that way the love is for the god next please and elderly the other extremes of life they are also marginalized they seem to be neglected so same kalil gibran also tells leave me now sons of my mother leave me in my loneliness because loneliness is the the curse for all elderly people because there is nobody to understand them nobody to take give time for them and he and the elderly person himself also thinks that he is not being respected because of the psychological changes because of the agility as such he cannot do a thing which he was doing previously and uh, so many things with incapability incapacities they bound and bound they Uh, increasingly uh, overcome him so that he cannot deliver whatever expected to him uh, out of him and also that that is why the loneliness is the greatest cause for the uh, elderly person and for which they suffer so even if that the same person should think that yes i am old but that old uh, age that old age is also a choice if i choose to be old i become old so i am lot of things to do, deliver to the society still i have the term there is not necessarily you must do with the physical activity strive hard what you are doing no you can there are lot of things we can do by living by living with children orphanages uh, playing with children that we can do we can give it is a share our happiness so that to others and we can share our um, emotions we can be with them we can spend some quality time with them that we can do there are so many ways and means provided the elderly people they think themselves are still the time is not gone so always to progress and progress in the consciousness perspective if one thinks then one never becomes old next please and also the society and family should come forward 
in that uh, background also because they must feel that the uh, having they been aging is is a is accepted you have to accept the aging there is no other way out but we should not disrespect them we should not deprive of their quiet love and respect them that is the most needful uh, thing which the the family and the society need nowadays so so family support is paramount importance family interaction social attitude and change so old people are being tortured also that battering should go and old man is not always helpless and ineffective is a uh, is a helpless and ineffective person as you think that 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 concept should go and gradually it is coming the either old people they are uh, just considered as worthless they cannot do any productive work so their only work we, what we come across is the um, the children their children who are being emigrated to other countries to other countries they have to uh, they are just go there to just to be with their children to their grandchildren to take care of the children when the their sons and daughter in law they are out of the far for their work this is the favorite pastime for the old days nowadays next Thank you, thank and you. death is the most the fear. So, out of the all fear, the fear must go. The society we must see that there should not be fear of any kind. Conquering death and death, fear of death is the is the most severe form of fear. And uh, as we know, fear is the disease. And uh, so many research. Which uh, which were done in the Scandinavian countries also um, during this pandemic, and most of the the person around forty 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 five percent of the persons who died due to pandemic COVID nineteen are not due to COVID nineteen per se, but due to fear and directly or indirectly out of fear leading to cardiac arrest and so many complications, like a flower hidden in the heart of spring. the soul of satyavan drawn down by her inextricably in that mighty love. concept it is not a fiction it will be a reality what sri rabindo proves logically in and it has happened in the vedic era and also it is going to happen in the near future after the man ascends to the level of super mind or the level of supramental consciousness which is emerging next please so the contrast this is social polarization this is discrimination this is the paradox the contrast this is the desert land where the the ladies they bring fetch water from a large distance from a long distance and here the water amusement parks water is wasted like anything yes next please. and here the contrast also in the skyscraper and just nearby this is the famous tharavi slums in mumbai uh, metro next please. and here you can clearly see there are automobiles cars of very luxurious cars and yet yet the man Pulls the cart where a person sits. That also is still very much here in our society. This discrimination, the inequality, that is really a uh, concern for all of us because that lead to the the miseries and the suffering, pain, which can lead to also the so-called which whom we call it's a criminalization and. next please this is the individuals they come out of the anti social group the communal groups terrorist countries and so on next please this is the devil's rule and this is a uh, very good observation of a um, psychiatrist that although the criminal fails in his duty to society we are not thereby relieved of our duty to him because he has also of late it has been observed that criminals also has conscience and he is under compulsion under some perverted thoughts the thought process is disturbed 
so that it is bound to do a commit a crime so if a crimes are more it is not the police is responsible it is all of us individually we are responsible for that because some way or other directly or indirectly a person suppose steal something from a shop which he some out of hunger out of the agony of hunger he can he couldn't control himself but to steal a loaf of bread and run away the things this is a true story which happened i had come across uh, a story uh, and uh, and he was brought to the judge the judge asked that uh, how much uh, that bread cost so it was 1 pound okay 1 pound so he uh, everybody was uh, just alleging that he, he was uh, stealing something from my house that day he was stealing some um, other food matter from my house so like that so many complaints were framed against him and ultimately judge gave the uh, hearing that okay so everybody was in the expecting some rigorous punishment will be there for that so called uh, criminal but uh, the judge told that uh, whether if he has committed crime it is because of the hunger the basic need he must eat and how can we be at peace if somebody in a neighbor somebody in our society cannot get his square meals so let us collect some money to compensate for the loss of the persons who from whose shops he has stolen the food materials so there was a lot of money which was collected and uh, the money for were uh, deposited in a bank for his future uh, food security and the rest of something was given as what was needed for the compensation and the rest of the money they were deposited for the to be spent for him as per the food is concerned next please so this is the criminal social disorganization also we usually day in day out we come across as a say disorganization social disorganization happens and uh, also there are so many criminal thoughts attitudes and full formed criminality takes place next please mm -hmm. so this what i was telling it's a conscience of each criminal also you must take into account next please. next so this is sarman relationship from bhagavad gita when arjuna totally surrenders to sri krishna maya rusikesha hrudesh tithena yatha niyukto shri tatha karomi i am bow down for your feet whatever you decide whatever you give guide me i will be ready to do that is thing the relations of not only shishya and guru but disciple guru but is a relations of the soul to soul that relations relationship is the by the true being we should be recognizing the true being within all of us so that the the real relationships can develop in that next please so there are so must smile always and spontaneous joy that is much more important and people tells i am diseased my house is not is good and also i have a lot of works to do so always we are in a state of very stress and strain and so what is the time to smile how the children they do smile they, their smile is spontaneous but we smile to please others but friends we must smile because that smile is a natural vibration which comes from the heart we should come from heart to heal the things even if we are diseased the healing will take place by our smile and love within love for others also bring back love to our body organs we will be healthy if we love our neighbors 
we love the society person as a all like then our body our health will be perfect and even if we fall ill it will be bounce back to normal in very short span of time without any complication and ultimately you should have spontaneous faith on the divine because we alone cannot do a lot of things we cannot change everything we must do whatever from whom our heart uh, comes to the thing we we have at our hand but everything we cannot change overnight so we must depend on the faith and the divine and he uh, and he must he should guide us so is the path so that we can achieve what is supposed to do next so thank you thank you and the heart and one thing i can i can tell only the so in the conclusion i i can tell only thing that it is heart which is the seat of all harmony heart and harmony go hand in hand unless that harmony or whatever steps we take for establishing harmony if it is not started from your heart it is not emerged from your heart then that harmony will not be everlasting i mean to say if there will be mixed things some gain some selfishness some egoistic cravings that is there that the, the harmony cannot be established permanently so it is hruday hruday is a sanskrit word it's a harati dadati and yati rudatu which takes away the impure blood dadati dati i mean give the pure blood and yati it maintains the circulation so hriday is a sanskrit word and from which the english word heart heart is derived from so we must listen to our heart and heart we must think from our heart ancient greek people also thinking in that way they we the we must think from heart how uh, funny we must tell but they are close to the truth now it has been uh, a person uh, lot my mom had previously it was the uh, the cardiologist also they have found out out of research that there is they are close to the observation the greek people that there is heart and uh, brain axis of emotions and thoughts is there heart gives much more information to the brain than brain gives to the heart heart has wings the mother tells so our thoughts our imagination should be based from heart so heart can heal heart can harmonize and if harmonize harmony will be established permanently then there is no disease which cannot be healed and if the individual health the family health and the society as a whole health as a whole the health will be in a order so that the good or better world order can be established thank you